Mobilat Relief. Fast, effective pain control at your fingertips. New 7Cs Extra High Strength Cod Liver Oil is high in Omega-3. The natural fish oil nutrient that helps keep joints supple and flexible. So if you want to stay supple, stay flexible and stay active, take new extra high strength one a day capsules. It's the best ever cod liver oil from Seven Seas. Bride's Head Revisited. I've never bought the cocktails yet. The Ruin of Sebastian. I'm with you. Sebastian Contra Mundo. Bride's Head. Good. Can you find me a drink? Worth revisiting, Saturday at 9 on 4. Matilda, um, Melissa, Millicent, could be Maud, no. Marjorie, no. Uh, Mil Mil Mildred, Mildred, what do you think, Cal? It could be Mildred. This it is could Angela's be middle name is Middle, I've decided, M for Middle, or... Angela Middle Rippon. Adult Angela Middle Rippon, or Marion, I've got a feeling she's a Marion. You think I look like a Marion? Yeah. Maid Marion, beautiful. Maid Marion. Hmm. No, no. <laughs> oh, well, this, that's right. this is keeping us very excited, trying to guess <laughs> or find out Angela Rippon's middle name. We will. Stick with us, folks. We'll find it out. You, you rest assured. OK, and rest assured also, we've got a good game on our hands as well because we have a long-running champion now by the name of Jerry Pierce. So welcome, champion and challenger. Champion Jerry Pierce, challenger Peter Ritchie. Well, of course, you know Jerry by now, doing very well indeed. One, two, three, four very good wins, good score, four, 59, 47, 56, and 61. So, well, Jerry, good luck. Uh, yes. It's still hard work, we know, <laughs> we, we, we feel for you, but uh, our fingers are crossed. As indeed they are for you, Peter. Uh, Peter Ritchie comes from Bangor in uh, County Down, yes, as I said yesterday, from County Down to Countdown. Just a little joke, it amuses us, you probably think it's rather passé. But, uh, but by the way, Peter, you're married with three children and you're retired a retired GP. Golf uh, is a big interest with him. He likes gardening and uh, music. He also uh, likes films and unlike his favourite film, he's hoping for more than a brief encounter here in the Countdown studio. So good luck to you, Peter Ritchie. Well, you've seen her once because she sort of, she crept in there at the beginning when she wasn't meant to. Saucy. Um, but yesterday she had several good winners, including the seven-letter word rupiahs, R-U-P-I-A-H. Rupia is the chief monetary unit of Indonesia. Well, we've sent for her again today because she never turns a drachma into a crisis. Yes, it's the priceless. Angela Rippon with Wordmeister Mark Nyman. I was banking on you doing something like that. All right, I think you've got to play the game with us, and I think in the course of your contributions today and, say, tomorrow, mm -hmm. give us a bit of a clue about your middle name, okay? Just, just give us a bit of a clue. All right. Okay. All right, so keep your ears peeled, whatever you do with your ears, for the clue. Right, Jerry. May you uh, begin, please. You, you may begin. Thank you. May? Yes. May? Is it? <laughs> Is it? I gave you a clue! <laughs> you may begin, Jerry. Constantine's Carol. Thank you. R. And another. G. And another. Another one. V. And another. And L. And a vowel, please. A. Another vowel. O. And another. 
I and another A and a consonant, please. And, thank you. Ah, uh, H. Thank you. Here we go, Jerry and Peter. Jerry, how did you make out? A uh, risky six. A risky six. Now, Peter. Can't make that on five. Okay, here's a five, Peter. Largo. Largo, yes. A largo, as in something that Handel wrote once, didn't he? Jerry? Oh, Gival. <laughs> o G I V A L. Hmm. A L. Have a look at that. What do you think it means? Uh, is that something to do with windows? Or? Um, yes, know. it's uh, an ogive is a pointed or gothic arch, and yes. uh, ogival is the uh, adjective pertaining well to that. Well done. Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's a, we even had the great man fool there. What have you got there? You've got something else? Ogival is great. We've got a seven letter word, variola. Yep, variola meaning smallpox. Yeah, yeah with our doctor on board. Oh. <laughs> He's a retired doctor. Oh, right. He's forgotten it. He's forgotten it. <laughs> 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 okay, Peter, now it's your turn. Uh, consonant, please, Carol. N. And another consonant. D. Vowel. O. Another vowel. E. Consonant, please. D. And another consonant. <laughs> L Vowel I uh, Consonant F And another vowel please. And another vowel, thank you very much I uh, Thank you, Peter, here we go, your choice Good, and also Peter's eight. Idolized. Yeah, idolized. Yes. Lionized. And lionized. Almost the same thing to a certain yeah. extent, isn't it? I mean, really? Lionized and idolized. Brilliant. They were the two words that we had. So there we are. Eight very good points. So Jerry, you move on to fourteen, and Peter, you're off the mark with an eight. And it's letters to Jerry. Um, consonant, please, Carl. Thank you, Jerry. T. And another. N. And another. Another <laughs> T, an explosive mixture. Oh, and the fourth. Another vowel. Another consonant. consonant. Yes, please. Yep. N. And a vowel. O. Another vowel. E. Another one. I. A consonant, please. C. And a vowel, please. And a vowel. Thank you, Jerry. And uh, A. Good. Thank you. Here we go. Seven, Peter. Eight. Good. Seven, Jerry. Aconite. I can't hear. Aconite. Well, aconite, fantastic. But what's this eight? I'm wrong. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was I, I was looking at inaction around two eyes. 
No. No, it, it, it's a bit too good to believe in another eight, isn't it, I suppose? So, this word of yours, spell it out, please. A-C-O-N-I-T-E. Aconite. Yeah. Yes? Yes, uh, aconite is a poisonous plant, so uh, that's very good. Yeah, nice one. It's unfortunate, Peter, you could have had N action with an E rather than an I. That would have been okay. But you could have had the eight-letter word, word uh, intonate. They're all telling you, you could have done. I know. You know. Yeah, yeah, Wait, easy. tell them easy. You just tell them things, not just yeah, clever. Easy. <laughs> They'd soon come running to, running to you if you had a sore throat, wouldn't they? <laughs> they certainly would. They're not that clever. <laughs> well, let's see what you like on the numbers, Peter. Uh, one, two, one, two, please, Sam. Uh, one, two, and one, and two. Quick march to this. Three and ten. Another ten and seven. Eight. And 75 and the target for everyone is quite low 157 okay team 157 here we go Or one five seven, good for you, Jerry. One five seven. Right, Peter. Let's hear it from you, please. Ten minus eight. Ten minus eight is two. Times seventy five is one hundred and fifty. Seven. Right, so seven and one hundred and fifty seven. Yep. And you, Jerry. Ten minus. Peter, can, you just, can I just look at your your pad for a minute? I just want to have, I just want to have a look. See what his writing's like being a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, like, it's a lot better than mine, I can tell you. Yes, it's very, very neat and very good. Very Thanks. good. Okay, well, the scores are fairly neat at the moment. At least they are for Jerry. Um, you are on 31, Jerry, and you are on 18, Peter. So that's uh, what you're on. And now, Angela, you're on. Yes, I, we're always reading in newspapers that uh, the British are becoming more litigious. We're following the Americans in this and that people will tend to uh, sue for the slightest thing. But really, the Americans still do have a march on us. So much so that the American Bar recently wrote a pamphlet called 52 Reasons Why We Need Legal Reform. And they included in this pamphlet all sorts of daft things that people were suing for in America. For instance, there was um, a man who was on death row and a book had been written about his life and his exploits. But he sued the publishers for 40 million because he said that it was um, bringing his name into disrepute and making it impossible for him to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> there was a student in a university who had been mooning. Um, you know what mooning is, when you sort of bare your bottom at people. He, well, he'd been doing this out of his um, student uh, block window on the fourth floor, and he fell out, and he sued the university for not warning him that it might be dangerous living on the fourth floor. <laughs> but there was a really daft one where uh, a man who was a surfer went to court because during the surfing competition, he said someone else had taken his wave and eventually the whole thing was thrown out of court because the judge said it was impossible to put a price on the pain and suffering endured by watching someone else ride a wave that was intended for him. <laughs> there was just one more, and that, that is that um, a father actually uh, was thrown out of court just to prove that in fact they don't uh, always in the American law courts take these stupid cases seriously. A uh, uh, father who was asked not to smoke near the bench where the children were playing Little League baseball sued the Little League for what he said was pain and distress to him. But in fact, uh, the judge threw the whole thing out. Him and his lawyer were fined $1,500 for advancing arguments that are frivolous and without any legal foundation. So uh, maybe if that catches on in America, we'll all stop being so lit litigious and go back to being full of common sense. Indeed. OK, well, that is uh, at the end of part one. So part two, of course, follows very soon. So what I'll say here is just this. Sue you. There are many ways to 
communicate, but the simplest way is usually the most effective. The new Nokia is very small, and you can depend on it day after day. It's everything you want in a mobile phone. The new Nokia is a perfect package. Nokia. Connecting people.